<laughs> okay, so I think we're live here, and uh, I say I say we lightly because uh, at the moment it's it's pretty much just me. So um, this is the first time doing uh, one of these one of these hangout lives, and uh, and I would chalk this first experience up to uh, not so good. <laughs> so um, one thing I just got a message about twenty minutes ago from my call saying that his commute. Um, in Wales has gone awry and uh, and he wasn't going to be able to to pop on so that was the the start to uh, to this whole thing so I hope you're having fun in, in traffic or, or whatever you're doing there in, uh, in UK Mike and then for some reason I'm not able to get Juliana who's in Naples Italy to go ahead and connect in so this uh, this live chat has turned into a, a direct communication from me to the little camera on my uh, my iMac here so so to that point I guess I will just kind of stand by and see if Juliana pops in here on onto this call and, and we can go from there I saw Nathan Jones was was also in this window I sent an invite to him so maybe Nathan might might pop on here but um, I'll just go ahead and kind of give a quick update about where we're at and what's going on. So the world premiere for Inspired to Ride is happening April 11th, which nine days away. It's crazy. It's exciting. It's uh, it's good stuff. So so we're close. We're very very close. In fact, it's um, just around the corner. And then. We've got our sort of VIP event, which is also happening here in Denver on, on April 9th. And, and that was one of the things I was going to chat with Mike and Juliana about. So a lot of, a lot of the racers are, are actually going to be able to come, come into Denver here for, for the big event. Hopefully, Mike and Juliana actually get on a, on a plane and, and make it. Hopefully, this isn't any indication of of, uh, of what's to, uh, to come with that. But uh, race organizer... Trans Am race organizer Nathan Jones is uh, coming in. Billy Rice is coming in. I just heard not too long ago that Jesse Stauffer's coming in from Pennsylvania, right? Um, some Colorado folks. Um, racer Adam Gusky is coming. David Goldberg is coming. There's a few others I know that... Um, that we're missing. James and his wife from the Newton Bike Shop are, are going to be in town for uh, for the big event. So that's sort of the, some of the folks involved with uh, with the race and, and the event who are going to be here. And then um, Hunter and his wife's coming down from Bozeman. Eddie Clark is here. So it's going to be kind of a good, good showing from the cast and crew. And then the world premiere event, we're actually putting together these, these bikepacking workshops. And that's going to be super cool with Tracy Peterberry coming in from Idaho, uh, Neil Belchenko and Hefe Branham coming in from Crested Butte, Billy Rice from Texas somewhere. So we're, uh, we're bringing a lot of good energy. We're bringing a lot of good ultra endurance folks into the Denver area here next week. And you guys actually will be able to uh, jump in and, and uh, check it out from a worldwide basis. Hopefully it goes a whole lot better than, than this, uh, this hangout did with the live streaming situation with the world premiere. We've got a lot of information slowly getting up online on the website, inspire to ride.it some screenings, have popped up on on the screening page the world premiere is there the virtual world premiere is now up on that screening page so you can now purchase your virtual online ticket to to the world premiere event and actually tune into those bike packing workshops that are going on as well as getting a, a link to the hd movie that will send out so you'll actually be able to take part in in that event on the 11th so to catch uh, a few people up, um, you're probably wondering, where's my call? Where's Juliana? Well, my call stuck in in some commute in UK, and due to pilot error, which I'm assuming is on my own, I'm not able to get Juliana pumped into into this uh, this live hangout. So it's turned into just me, and 
I'm not one to be in, in the limelight like this. So, uh, so it's turned into um, an update. So I'm kind of at a loss for words. <laughs> but I didn't want to just leave everybody hanging. So I hit the go live broadcast button. So apparently we're, we're going live out to the world right now. I guess I'll take this opportunity to chat about one really cool situation that went live. Oh, hey. Sorry. Got Nathan Jones trying to pump in here. <laughs> Nathan's saving the day. Let's see if he pops in. So uh, not too, before, I, before I went, I, I – uh, hey, Nathan, you there, man? Let's see. Hey, Nathan. Hmm. Oh, well. Maybe he's not here. So I'll just kind of keep going, going on a little bit. I wonder if there's something present. Stand with me here. I'm trying to uh, pull, pull Nathan. Nathan Jones into into this <laughs> crazy. I don't know if I want to call it a train wreck, but it's kind of a train wreck. <laughs> Sorry, Nathan, if you're there, I, I'm not pilot air. I'm not making it happen. So anyway, um, so what I was going to get to is last, really this week, late last week. So we've been working on on this probably since around the holidays, really since Christmas. It, a theatrical distributor called Tug, T-U-G-G dot com. We've been chatting with them. They're a new platform, and what's really cool about this platform is it's kind of a crowdfunding, uh, theatrical crowdfunding platform. So if you go to, to their platform, T-U-G-G dot com, and you'll, you'll see a list of movies. Inspired to Riot is now live. Inspired to Riot is now up on that platform. So what you can do is click on, click on our movie, Inspired to Ride, and then it'll take you through a step, a few steps. So you'll choose your city, your zip code, and then the movie, and then you'll get a drop-down list of information about what theaters are available in your town, in your city. There's a first choice theater, a second choice theater. You'll pick the date and time that you would like to hold an Inspired to Ride event in your theater, and then you'll hit submit. And then that goes off to the fine folks over at Tug. They run a few algorithms. They get in touch with that theater. If that theater is available and everything works out good, then your event gets its own unique link, its own unique page, and then you'll get a bit of information back depending on, on the day and the location and a few costs associated. It'll say, okay, you'll need to sell 72 tickets to tip this screening into happening. Now you've got your page, you've got your link, you hit Facebook, you hit Twitter, you go ahead and send it out to, you. if you're a bike shop, you send it out to your newsletter list. If you're an individual, your friends and family, if you are a nonprofit or an organization, you can go ahead and, and hit up those people. And then you'll just need to sell that limit, 72 tickets, kind of making up as, as, a, as a rough number for this example. And when you hit that threshold, the screening happens, it goes live, and it's a done deal. So, so then on that on that day, you really own the theater for that time frame. You can hold it as a fundraiser. You can bring in some guests and present the stage or present the audience from from the from the stage. And it's a pretty cool way to to easily and cheaply kind of gather an audience to check out the film. And um, so I mentioned a fundraiser piece of it. So a really cool way you can do it as a fundraiser is you put that page together. As people buy the ticket, there's a place where they can also add additional funds for the particular nonprofit or, or group or organization that you are raising, raising funds for. And it's all simple. It happens right at that ticket 
um, buying process. So it's pretty slick, and I'm going to be sending out some more information, uh, n another video, and, and kind of walk everybody through how how that that comes together. So again, in the past we've we've ho sold hosted screening packages, and those have been been great. They've been three hundred, three hundred and fifty dollars, and you've had to then go through the you've had to go through the process of, of selling your own tickets and, and booking your own venue, which is uh, which has been great for those of you who've gone through it before. But this new platform is is uh, is a game changer when when it comes to being able to bring this film to your town on the big screen. So tug.com, search for Inspired to Ride, kind of play with a little bit, play with it a little bit, kick the tires, check it out. And then just know that we'll be doing a lot more promotions and explanations about how that is going to happen in the future. So the world premiere, April 11th. Tickets are, are ramping up and going, going pretty fast just in the last three days. They're, uh, they're going pretty quick. I'd say we're 65%. Well, if, I, if I roll in the Kickstarter, folks, we're about 70% sold out on the April 11th world premiere. So if you've been been kind of holding off uh, pre-buying your tickets, go to inspiredtoride.it and uh, go ahead and, and get your tickets if you do want to actually attend that event live and in person. The mini tour is, is put together. So after we do our world premiere here in Denver, we're going to Colorado Springs on April 14th, and then Salt Lake City, Boise, Idaho, Bend, Oregon, and then Portland, Oregon. So that's uh, our kind of big launch, our big kickoff for, for a week and a half coming up here later in April. And that's our kind of quick update. Um, again, I apologize. I was not able to get Juliana into, into this call, Pilot Air, and Mike is stuck in UK traffic or I know he commutes by by bicycle so um, not sure what's going on so our my call and Juliana live call has turned into me spewing crazy words meandering rambling to to uh, to you guys so so there you have it I don't really have a whole lot more to tell you I don't really see any questions coming in from from anything so I will probably go ahead and stop this broadcast and kind of just kind of cover as far as some updates go. Talked about the world premiere a little bit, and I talked about our new theatrical distributor with Tug, T-U-G-G dot com. You can bring Inspire to Ride at no cost to your main theater in your in your town and city. Um, most are most are available, so you can go ahead and explore that a little bit and just know we'll be sending out more information about that and we're putting the final touches on the film uh, last little bit of sound design 5-1 surround sound mix we'll go ahead and get our ears on that this Saturday and, and approve it and, and have that all wrapped up by Monday a few little graphical elements lower thirds that are that are going in so we're stuck the film is looking good 4k color correction it's gonna I can't wait to go test it up on uh, up on the brig big screen at the Alamo Draft House is, is our first sort of VIP pre-screening event that, uh, that we're going to drink some beers and, and have a good time and, and celebrate the release of this new film. So thank you guys. I apologize. My, uh, my Google Hangout first attempt was not a success. A little bummed about that, but I can't let it get me down because there's a lot more work to do. All right, guys. Thank you. Ciao.